To find the oxidation numbers for each element here in CrNO33, this is chromium-3 nitrate, we'll use these rules. First, there's no negative or positive sign after it. That's because this chromium-3 nitrate, it's a neutral compound. All the oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to zero. For chromium, we don't know its oxidation number. We have to look at what it's bonded to here to figure that out. One thing you should recognize is that the nitrate ion, NO3, has a 1 minus ionic charge. So when we have an ion, the oxidation numbers all add up to that charge. So all the oxidation numbers here, they're going to add up to that minus 1. We have three nitrates. Each one is minus 1. Chromium has to be positive 3 for this to all equal 0. So the oxidation state on chromium is plus 3. That's why we call it chromium 3 nitrate. If you want to figure out the nitrate, we could also do that. We can set an equation up. We know oxygen is going to have a minus 2 oxidation number. So we could just call the nitrate X. So we have 3 plus X and 3 times minus 2, that's minus 6, times 3 equals 0. So we'll have 3 plus 3X minus 18 equals 0. So this would be 15, 3X minus 15 equals 0, 3X equals 15. X, divide both sides by 3, equals a positive 5. Since X equals a positive 5, the nitrogen here will have a plus 5 oxidation number. So it's a bit of work, but that's the oxidation number on each nitrogen here in the chromium-3 nitrate. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.